Okay, pepper aficionados. An update uh, the first week of March of our pepper experiment with the three methods of seeding. Jim Duffy wins. You can see what's coming up here in the back. It's got a little bit of the uh, algae going, but it hasn't hurt them. There are a few varieties that have not germinated, and we won't grow those again. I'm trying one last time with the Zulus. I love Zulu peppers, uh, and I just seeded these like three or four days ago. So these are uh, exclusively Trinidad and Jamaican uh, Scotch bonnet varieties. This is uh, second place is my potting mix, which has a lot of organic matter in it. Almost everything has germinated. It took several weeks longer to get to this point than Duffy's, uh, Jim Duffy's method with a vermiculite. In third place is Jiffy Seed Starter. Uh, they're considerably behind other two methods. I don't know why. The only difference really between this and my mix is mine has a little bit of compost in it that uh, gives them a uh, little bit more nutrition. Look at these purple peppers. These are purple, if you can read that, Morosky purples. You see that? Purple, they're ready to step up. Now, about 15 days ago, actually, no, about a week ago, I took peppers from this size tray. You see how tiny they are? And the Duffy vermiculite, uh, they get bottom fed, a little bit of 10, 10, 10, or, and, or spritz with a, uh, magnesium, which is really Epsom salt diluted one tablespoon per gallon, and then I spray it on the top. They grow faster, but just in a few days, look how much larger they are when they're given real soil with real nutrients in the soil. This is uh, my mixture of compost, uh, let's see, a third compost, a third peat moss, um, and something that adds drainage, so I, I'll either add sand or uh, straw or something like that that has been decomposed. I even add, uh, I think these I put, uh, looks like perlite. But with peppers you want it to drain, you don't want it to hold a lot of water. But look at that growth in just, in just a few days. Look, we're happy that we are in pots. We're waiting to be put in pots. I just need to find the time. Uh, my husband and I have lost a little bit of time in the greenhouse and in the garden because we're helping a family uh, that lost everything in the wars uh, move here and, and, and adjust. And a couple of days a week we'll be with them. They lost everything, y'all. They're down to like just have one pair of shoes and trying to figure out how to how to eat, how to feed themselves. So we, we, we tend to volunteer and help people, and we kind of adopt families, and that's a family we've adopted. So enough of the other plants. Back to the peppers. I really, 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 really want I really, 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 really want to move these peppers out, but it's just, I've got a few nights coming back in the 30s, so... We don't want to shock them too much, but if you're like me, you're impatient. <laughs> but being as senile as I am, with my luck, I'd leave them out, the temperatures would go down to freezing, and I'd lose everything that we've done. So, So thanks for walking through the pepper house with me. I've got So thanks for walking through the pepper house with me and and looking at how things turned out. I guess I guess the winner of the contest is Jim Duffy 
our pepper expert, and uh, that's where I get most of my pepper seeds, is from uh, Refining Fire Chili or Super Hot Chili is his website. Uh, he's got a number of videos out and different methods of germination. And uh, I'm learning from him, and let's learn through me. You're learning Jim Duffy. So the winner to the, to the three methods is uh, the horticultural vermiculite. Remember, when you work with it, you're going to have to order it online. But when you work with it, you, you um, need to wear a mask because you don't want to inhale it. And you put at least a half inch in wherever you're starting your seed. And Jimmy, Jim will take a tray and just fill the tray and not have the different cells. He just broadcasts his seed, sprinkles a little of the vermiculite over the top, drenches it with water, and comes back every few days to keep it pretty wet, mists it with the chamomile tea, and his, his peppers are beautiful. Uh, so that's my goal. I want beautiful peppers. How about you? So thanks for spending time with me today. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, remember, hit, hit that subscribe button. Remember, if you like what you've seen today, remember to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get all the updates. Give me a thumbs up. Make some comments. Sure would like to see you another day. See ya.